Okay, so quick exercise to increase your fretboard awareness. And this is gonna go by pretty quick, so pay close attention. And we're gonna use one element and it's just a triad. So for this exercise, we're simply just going to use an F major triad. F, A, C, F. But we're gonna double that. So a two octave F major triad exercise. F, A, C, F, A, C, F. Now the main element about this exercise or the tough or difficult part about it is that big jump towards the end. Not only that, but in the beginning, you make a pretty big jump. It's a two whole step jump. You do that twice actually. So from F to A, it's a huge jump. From F to A on the next octave up is a huge jump. And then from the D to the F, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frets in between that. So you got a whole step, whole step, plus a half step. And to be able to hit that and execute it every single time is definitely a challenge, but that increases your fretboard awareness. And I told a lot of the members before, I used to just practice in a mirror. It looked weird, but I used to practice in a mirror and I did not look down at my bass. And I tried to hit that note every single time without looking, but practicing in a mirror actually gauges that physical, I don't know, the physics about it. I don't know what it is. I'm not a technical term person, but anyway, so it increases my knowledge and my muscle memory to be able to hit that note every single time. Every single time it gauged how much I needed to move or slide up the fret to be able to get that space. And I also have to take into account that I'm playing on the lower register of the fretboard. So a jump down here will be a lot bigger, a lot wider versus a jump up here. You see how much of a gap that was, how much of a space that is, just depending on where I am on the fretboard. So practicing in a mirror, or just looking at myself actually gauges that jump and just practicing it in general, period, to be able to understand how big of a jump I need to make. So that's the exercise. That's literally the entire exercise. But what we're going to do, we're going to go up and down, ascending and descending. That makes the exercise super fun to be able to constantly try to hit that note every single time. So just F major triad, F, A, C, F, A, C, F. Back down. Just to get the fingering for that, we have one, four, one, one, four, one, four. Pretty easy, pretty simple, right? Not using any other fingers other than just the uh, index finger and the pinky. Yeah, I missed it a couple times. I get confused sometimes when I'm trying to play it fast. But anyway, you guys get the idea. Take it slow. Like I did not take it slow. Don't don't take my advice. Don't do what I did. But listen to what I'm saying. Uh, take it slow. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise, unlike mine. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.